What's good with y'all boys, man? Today we are on my two-way slashing point forward. Now, I know I've been making tons of point forward builds, but I just had to make me a 6'10". But hold on, what's I saying about my head? NBA is back? And of course, with NBA being back, that means underdog NBA promos are back. And to get the NBA season started off right, they're giving you a boost on every NBA entry you put in. And I even been taking advantage of this myself. I have tons of entries in already. And of course, when you sign up using code Wavy, you also get a deposit match that can get you up to a thousand dollars in bonus cash so make sure you don't waste the opportunity the link will be down below in the description use code wavy and get signed up but back to the build first i'm gonna show y'all how to make the build and then i'm gonna take y'all boys through my sigs jump shot everything you need to be successful with the build but to get started of course you want to be small forward 16 201 and 75 on the wingspan now you can make this build at power forward if you want to i just prefer small forward because i like the point forward name and to start off with the build the first thing i'm gonna do is take my driving dunk up to a 91 and this is because our max driving dunk is at 96 i'm gonna use a cap breaker off rip which i already have to get it to that 96 now really quickly we're gonna jump down to the vertical we're gonna go ahead and put this up to 85 because this is what we're gonna need for our contact dunks not only will we need it for our contact dunks but when this actually gets to 96 you'll see posterizer is now on hall of fame and when you unlock your max plus ones for the season you can get this all the way it's a legend now but for now we're gonna leave it right here just remember this is what you'll put your cap breakers on now 65 standing dunk is cool and all but if you get this up to a 72 you're gonna get rods upon bronze it's gonna help you dunk under the rim but man oh man when i tell y'all this build can't fly i am not lying you're already 16 you got the height you got the wingspan add on that 96 driving dunk and you are going crazy y'all see 90 percent of the time i ain't even really going for contacts and stuff I'm going for that self lob. You gotta lob it off the backboard with this build. It's only right. And I haven't even gotten my max plus ones for season two yet. When I get those, posterizer is gonna be on legend. I could really do anything I want at that rim. If you wasn't having fun on 2K25 before a build like this, once you make a build like this, I'm telling y'all, it makes the whole game fun. Now, moving on to our shooting, the first thing I'm gonna do is take my three-pointer to a 76. Now, for the mid-range, I like to go high 80s, but this is something that is gonna change your name. So if you leave your high mid-range up, it's gonna call you like a two-way inside the arc thread. I did not want that name. I wanted to get the slashing name, so I'm leaving it at 77. I'm gonna use at least one cap breaker and get it up to a 78. It is kind of stupid, but I'm a names person, y'all. I like to have a certain build name, so I kept mine on. And then last but not least if you want a high free throw go for it i'm leaving mine at 57 now the shooting is already pretty solid but it's gonna get way better when you use that cap breaker on your mid-range you get that set shot specialist on silver now if you don't care about having legend posterizer you can actually bump it all the way up to gold and then you will really be in there but even with the set shot specialist on bronze i'm already shooting pretty good normally around the 50 percent mark i'm still working on finding the perfect jumper for me but i know for a fact getting that set shot specialist on gold will help a lot now getting into the playmaking you can't be a point forward and not have any pass accuracy now i did go 99 on my last build like i said it's for content reasons y'all gonna see that soon but in my opinion 87 is the sweet spot and if you really wanted to you can cap record this up to 92 but after playing with the 87 this pass accuracy right here is money now moving on to ball handle this is something else you should actually stay at 75 but i think the way i was getting the point for a name was to make sure this was at 77 so i'm keeping that right there and then for your speed with ball you want to get it at a 68 just so you make sure you get that lightning launch on bronze now i've only had this build for a couple of days like i said but you see i'm already dropping people if you take the time to learn how to dribble with these six tens and above i'm telling y'all it is super fun now me i'm still learning and i'm already cooking up a little bit nothing too crazy but to be on a 16 i can get open and get my shot off and then if you're superstar four you're also getting that Giannis cross that's gonna to be amazing it's super glitchy it pretty much can go through anybody's body the way you have to dribble is just so different on a 610 you don't hold r2 and stuff for a lot of the moves so I just gotta get used to that and then I'll really be in there. That's why I went to the 1v1 court for the clips though. I wanted to make sure I could actually cook one-on-one, -on -one, no help, 
before I gave y'all this build. And I know I wasn't going too crazy yet, but if y'all say y'all don't see the potential, you just got to be lying to yourself. Now, moving on to the defense, starting with interior. Interior absolutely sucks this year, y'all. If you play 2K25 at all, you'll see constant layups, dunks, everything crazy just going in at the rim. But the one thing that does help stop it some is your block. You want to be able to block shots on a tall build. This is actually something else I'm considering cap breaking because if you get it to 88, you get high flying denier on gold. But for now, we're going to leave it on an 84. Moving on to the perim, I wanted to get this up as high as possible. I'm going to take it all the way to that 82. And then for your steal, you can't get an 85. So the best thing that you can go with is a 79 steal. And there's your defense. You are tall. You can play power forward. You want to have the block and stuff, but you also want to have that perim and all that so you ain't getting cooked by any small, small forward. Originally, when I went with this 84 block, I thought it was going to be decent, but I didn't know it was actually going to be this good. This build swats everything. It gets snatch blocks. It does it all. And it could be a little bit of the vertical as well, but the build is just everywhere on defense. It don't matter what you're trying to do with this build. On the perimeter, going to get chased down blocks is going to be able to read lanes and grab the steal with the 79 steal and then once again it's got that pass accuracy and stuff as well so you're on the break now for my rebounding when you're on a bill like this offensive rebound is always going to be less expensive so i'm going with it to get the rebound chaser on silver i ain't gonna sit here and lie to y'all this makes your defensive rebound kind of weak you don't really jump for them as well but you are a small forward you don't got to be the best defensive rebounder offense is going to help you out especially with that 91 job and dunk you get the put back and then last but not least, we got the physicals. Y'all know I'm big on physicals this year. I like to have these maxed out. So you get the 82 speed, 77 agility. Then you want to max your strength at 73. And we had already messed with the vertical. So this is the build right here. And as you can see, if you made the build exactly like I did, you'll get the two-way slash and point forward name. Now, if you want my six, this is what I'm rocking with right here. If you aren't Superstar 4 and you don't have Giannis crossover, I suggest you use Kevin Durant. And I know no, it ain't really a dribble sig but you're a hop jumper you have to use normal two it's one of the best things for 16. now if you need my jumper i've been using udonis haslam the most i've also been trying andre drummond as well i'm also playing around with the releases a little bit but so far this is what i've been having the most luck with but i hope y'all boys enjoyed the video let me know what y'all think about the build down below that's gonna be it for me and i'm out peace